Now that the Bucks streak has been snapped, the Jets own the longest current playoff drought at 10 seasons. Could one of these teams be right behind the Bucks on the turnaround train? Well, Mike Garofolo, James Palmer, Terrell Davis, and Cynthia Freeland debate that in today's Total Access Overtime. Here for Total Access Overtime with my friends. You can see them all right here to my left. And we're going to have ourselves a nice little friendly conversation. Might get heated at times because this is the way that we do it on uh, TAOT. And what we're going to debate here is which teams are we looking at this year that missed the playoffs this last year? You know, we've got more playoff teams than ever, so it's a wider pool. Who's jumping back into the pool after missing it last year. TD, going to start with you. Who are we looking at? What kind of underdog are we looking at to climb back into the postseason? And well, we're talking about a team that was not the underdog for a very, very long time. But last year, things went off the rails. And I'm talking about the New England Patriots. I mean, Ooh. last year, you, I mean, that roster they had last year, they were able to muster seven wins out of that depleted roster. A quarterback who missed the entire offseason and they signed him right before they had the season. Then he caught COVID. So, you know, they have an, another year to work with him. Their roster's back. Hightower opted out to COVID-19. He's back. The additions of John New Smith, Travis, uh, you know, Hunter Henry. They've added a lot of pieces for this team. So I believe the Patriots, with that coach that we all know, the greatest coach of all time, they will make the postseason this year. I actually really agree with you, TD. I also really appreciate the way you said very there. Very, very. I don't know what accent that was, but it was great. <laughs> but ultimately, when I look at this team, it comes down to quarterback play. They've got some of the things you need, like a favorable schedule, the potential to have some of these games that are not in their division be achievable. It's going to come down to what happens at that quarterback position, because to me, they're kind of cuspy right now, and that will just put them over the edge. But, Cynthia, don't you right, think TD they takes wouldn't have, they Wait, they wouldn't have re-signed Cam if they didn't believe that they can get the most out of our, a guy who was already a league MVP. They wouldn't have re-signed him if they felt that he had maxed out his potential. I believe there's a lot more in Cam than we saw last year. I completely uh, listen, agree I with mean, you. It's, it, 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 get, get it, Cynthia. Oh, no, you're good. I completely agree with you. I think Cam is probably going to start off really strong, but I will say that division's pretty tough. That's the only thing that could be the difference maker. Yes. All right. Uh, a lot tougher than it used to be, that's for sure, because the Patriots have now jumped back into the mix with everybody else, and the Bills are now the team that they are chasing. All right, James Palmer, uh, TD kind of took a layup there, right? You had the team that made the playoffs for like two decades straight and says, ah, they're going to jump back in there. Let's go with you on this one. Who are we looking at to get back into the postseason? Cynthia wants to talk about tough divisions. This team doesn't play in a very tough one in the NFC West. How about the San Francisco 49ers? I'm joking. It's probably the toughest division in football. They went 6-10 and 10 a year ago, but they had the worst injury luck of any team that played in the NFL a season ago, and they had the third hardest schedule a season ago. And you would have to think that that type of luck with the injury bug is not going to happen again. They had a terrible turnover differential. Only the Broncos had a worse one, and I don't believe the ball is going to bounce poorly for them in that manner once again. And you look at who's coming back on that defensive line in terms of Nick Bosa getting healthy, who Kyle Shanahan recently said, guys, like, he doesn't want to compare players, but when you lose somebody like Nick Bosa, that's like losing Aaron Donald. That's like losing Vaughn Miller. That's like losing J.J. Watt back in the day in Houston. When you're such a difference maker on that defensive line, the attention you really desire and the detention that comes to you, that allows other players to make plays. Indeed, Ford barely played. He played a game last year. And then you go the offensive side of the ball. Jimmy Garoppolo hurt throughout the year, and he is more motivated now than he has ever been in his NFL career because he is doing what? He is auditioning for 31 other teams to prove to them he can stay healthy. He has Trey Lance nipping at his heels. This is a team that went 13-3 and when he played the duration of a season, and they were one overthrow away from winning the Super Bowl. And I think the other part of this is I'm not the only person who thinks like this. There were eight teams that got an NFL high five primetime games. Going 6-10 and 10 a year ago, the 49ers also got five primetime games. So that shows me the schedule makers think that they are going to make some moves. And also, they start the season against the Lions. Two other years that did that, they won the Super Bowl. Wow, James Palmer went deep into the research for that last little nugget right there. By the way, that. Trey Lance... 
Yeah, you would think that if they make the playoffs, that means they played well all season long. Jimmy Garoppolo played well and held on to his position. Uh, I think that's possible, but don't be surprised. Even if they're a, a solid team, that Trey Lance sneaks his way in there. He can impress his way uh, into that starting role. We shall see. All right, Cynthia. Uh, give me give me a bold one. I'm, I'm still looking for the bold prediction, a team that maybe hasn't been there for a while oh, and is going to jump in. Year. Who's it going to be? I was just going to say, oh, the, guy that, the guys that were in the Super Bowl two years ago and Bill Belichick, bold guys, real bold. Well, I'm going to go with the same division, <laughs> NFC West. You talk about that guy, J.J. Watt. Well, he was a big addition to the team, I think, is going to make it to the postseason this year. That's the Arizona Cardinals. I actually think three teams from the West could very easily, easily and achievably make it to the postseason. But when I look at the Cardinals, they're a very boom or bust team. They took a lot of risks. They paid a lot of players. They brought in a lot of various situations from kind of getting lucky from the middle of their O-line being Rodney Hudson was, we didn't think he was going to be even on the market. They snatched him right up. They paid their defenders. They have Chandler Jones. They've got one of the best kind of secondary situations with Buda Baker. I love all of it. So when I look to see what Cliff Kingsbury is going to dial up, this is not a team where people are thinking, okay, well, you know, this is a prolific, we, we don't really know what's going on with this situation, but I think this is where we see him dial it up with Kyler Murray. They brought him in specifically for kind of being that sort of different quarterback. This is a season that that pays off. This feels like a very, very pivotal season for the Arizona Cardinals, Cliff Kingsbury, Kyler Murray, and that whole crew. So they really do need to make the postseason, I believe, because there might be a little bit of impatience uh, with ownership there. All right, for me, look, I am going to take the New York Giants to make the postseason. And I was just thinking about this the other day. I was As I was driving by MetLife Stadium, you know, there have been two postseason games in the history of MetLife Stadium, and one of them was the Super Bowl where the Jets or Giants didn't even play in that game. It is about time that that stadium hosted another postseason game. It's been around for 22 seasons if you combine the 11 and the 11 for the Giants and the Jets, and I think the Giants get it done this year, extending the streak to like, I don't know, 100 years where the NFC East winner has not repeated. I like this Giants team last year under Joe Judge what they were able to do as far as their ability to start competing. Now they're getting Saquon Barkley back. I think Judge taught this team not how to just compete, but also to win some games. I am very bullish on the Giants this year. I believe they win the division, host a playoff game back at MetLife Stadium, and I'm going to make a really bold prediction here. They're going to win the NFC East with a winning record because we know that that, you know, the way that division's been of late. Now, look.